Okay, so when I was young, right, my mom told me, you should always wear protection. <laughs> Duh. You should always wear protection in relationships because it's just good. It's just something that you should do. Wear condoms. Wear protection. Protect yourself. Even when you're married. Even when you're married, you need to protect yourself. I was like, okay, cool. Great advice. But there was just one thing, though. Why would I need to protect myself from someone that I'm marrying? Someone that I'm bound by? Um, someone that I'm supposed to be giving my all to? Someone that I'm supposed to be letting my heart sink with? Why should I have to protect myself in that instance? So the message she sent to me was, that even when you've given your all to someone, even when you guys have made certain vows and you've said certain things, you still need to protect yourself. You still should always protect yourself. There's something that I feel like a lot of us should be aware of. Something that I wasn't aware of in my younger years. I'm still young, but I've been through some things since, you know, I've been 15 and 16 and I've been able to piece a few things together. And one of those things is this. The number one reason or statistic of women and their mortality have been extremely synchronized and intertwined with the people that they date, the relationships that they have, and their capacity to give birth. So in other words, women are dying in relationships. They're being murdered in their relationships, and women are dying from childbirth. Oh, this is something that's always happened, right? This is something that's always taken place, right? Well, I don't think I don't think that's true. I don't think that things have always quite been this way. And I feel that at one point we were very powerful. We were very wise. We were very attuned and the rates of women being subjugated to this type of abuse and neglect and demise is i feel at an all-time high and not only that because i'm not blaming men i'm not doing the men blame game here but what i am doing is i'm making and shedding light on what i feel needs to be shed some light upon and that is the way that we approach these things like there's so many women that I come across, that I talk to, that I come into contact with. And when I talk to them, I honestly, I don't feel that presence, that power, that assurity when it comes to men and when it comes to relating to men. Okay, we got to realize that along with all, all of the racist and uh, all these extra things that have gone on since colonialism and before then, you know, women have been subjugated to this type of abuse that is much, much different and much, much more insidious than what people are really shedding light on. And I feel deep in my spirit, in my soul, in my heart, that it has a lot to do with the present state of a lot, a lot, a lot of what's going on here today in America, here today in the world, here today on earth. 
okay? Think about earth. Think about earth. What is the earth? Okay, we think when we go to the grocery store, when we go to these outlet malls, when we go to these places to get our things, to buy our clothes, to eat our food, we think that these things are supplying us, okay? We think that these institutions are supplying us, okay? Institutions that are backed by systems ran by men, okay? Patriarchal, automatically. And we completely forget, we are completely disconnected from the fact that, hey, this food actually was grown from the ground, from plants and trees that had to be nurtured in order for the fruit to be bared, in order for you to even eat what you're eating, in order for you to eat that processed pack of uh, ramen noodles or whatever it is that you're eating, even the processed food, okay, even the stuff that they make in the labs, they had to go to the earth and tamper with it first to get it into your grocery stores, to your supermarkets, the clothes that you're wearing. All of that came from the earth, the, the cotton, the different uh, weaves and textures, things like that. These all sprouted from the earth. And yet we think that it comes from the store and then it's that's it. There's no synopsis. You know, and for those people who do grow their own food and make their own clothes, you probably have a much more and much greater understanding of the synopsis between earth and being. So let's start there. Automatically, our relationship with the earth is cut off. What does this have to do with the woman? What does this have to do with us being in the present state of demise and uh, I would say a struggle to really embrace our femininity in flux with our masculinity, in flux with our power, in flux with our creative energy? What does this have to do with that? Well, the earth is feminine in nature. The earth is feminine in nature. The earth is feminine in its divine essence. It nurtures, it feeds it grows this is the power of of the feminine energy okay and we're being disconnected from that earth energy and we it's being replaced by a patriarchal system institution that you now perceive as the one that nurtures you that clothes you that feeds you, that takes care of you, when this is not real, it's not a reality, okay? And this power, I feel because the awareness of where it, it truly lies is backed into these institutions and in these systems and not into the earth, it has so much to do with why we don't really see or understand the power that lies within us and what's really happening because of this. So, right now, I've been seeing a lot of things on the internet. I've been seeing a lot of things on social media. I've been seeing a lot of things having to do with relationships and it's just been coming to me and I know I've been drawing it to me I know I've been calling it to me because these are the things that I've already been on my mind you know why why as I thought back to that quote that my mom told me that I, the advice that she gave me you know why are we going through this the way we're going through it? So many women right now are feeling this shift. Are feeling this shift that I'm just not, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. And for the women that 
are feeling this energy, that are feeling it, kudos to the ones that are really listening and taking action behind these feelings that they're feeling. Because, again, in a society that we live in, we are taught, and if we're not directly taught this, it is very just the norm to praise fact before opinion, to praise logic before emotion, to praise these left brain ways of thinking, which are masculine in nature. So if you are, you have an idea, okay, or you have something that you feel and you're expressing how you feel, so often we'll get told, get out your feelings. You don't need to be feel you don't need to be all up in your feelings. Get out your feelings. You you take emotion out of it and think logically. And this is correct. This is the correct way of thinking because we automatically assume that if I'm thinking emo if I'm basing my actions off of emotions, if I'm basing what I feel off of emotions, that is somehow invalid. That is somehow just a whirlwind of mess okay and the it's the focus should not be on oh let's get rid of the girl get boy get out your get out them feelings they're useless well how can how can you tell somebody that their femininity their because that's what that is being in tune with your emotions is your femininity being in tune with those things that you can't materialize just yet, that's feminine, okay? Because that's exactly what happens in our wombs. You don't know what's going on there when stuff is happening and things is creating and things is destroying, whatever is going on in You don't know what's going on in there up until that baby come out, <laughs> up until... You know, you you bring forth what what you truly want to manifest here. See, that's really the key to all manifestation is being in tune with this feminine energy and honoring it. That's how you manifest things here. That's how you create things here. That's how you create life and get it here. We do it all the time, but see, we've been... A lot of women have been pushed to think, oh, um, just confused. Like, just, I don't even know. Like, just in a whirlwind, like, well, I don't really know how this is, but I feel like this. And I feel like just chaotic. Actually, that's what I want to say. Just chaotic because nothing makes sense. Even their own self, even their own being confuses them because they've been taught to think and to feel like their feelings and their thoughts and emotions are invalid and I am here to say that they are very much so valid and not only are they valid but when you have mastered the art of integrating your emotional femininity okay your yin your internal, your darkness, that beautiful space of creation, when you've integrated that place, that negative space in with the masculine, with the extroverted, with the yang, with the logical, with things that make sense logically, you got a whole, you, you are powerful. You are a powerful woman. You are extremely powerful which is like amazing like women women who have tapped into that energy to where they've now integrated their emotions with the logical world they can take what they feel and make sense out of it practically and through communication oh she's powerful she got a lot going on and so 
I think that because this energy is now actually in the process of being praised and uplifted and put on a pedestal like it should be put on a pedestal like it really should be we are we are getting that much closer to really integrating the truth to really bringing forth the truth and empowering families communities all of it the earth <laughs> this earth that we live on doing a reading okay. for a young goddess recently and she was in an abusive relationship and it finally got to a point where he put his hands on her and she didn't know what to do she didn't know where to go she she didn't really know what was the right decision but she knew in that moment that it was time to go so she left and since then so many things have been blessing her so many things have been coming into her, her life and and just People have been helping her just out of the blue. You know, you need something, you need some help. You know, I just feel like I should give you some money right now. Like, things like that have been happening for her. And she said, what is that? Because I feel it. I felt it before, but I feel like it is just so strong now, this feeling that I am just taken care of. Like, I don't have to worry about anything you know i'm good and i let her know that when you honor your spirit okay your spiritual energy your emotional intelligence the thoughts that you receive the emotions the the feelings that you receive when you're able to sift through those feelings and really understand Who's, who and what is talking to you. And not only that, when you honor your soul with it, when you honor your body with it, when you just honor it and you move with that, things are just going to start happening for you in your favor because now you've put spirit on a pedestal. Now you put your life and your well-being on a pedestal. And now your soul recognizes this. Your spirit recognizes this. This, this universal energy that people keep talking about. Universal energy that people keep talking about has recognized this. And because you are now in line with your highest being with your higher self and you're doing things in favor of your higher self things are just gonna fall into place for you yes they will because that is how spirit works in synchronicity and in so many other ways and so this is crucial this is crucial to really do Honoring your divine feminine, honoring who you are essentially in that spirit that's guiding you because it can help so many people, not just you. And I think that is the pivotal, pi pivotal thing that differentiates just a regular average woman to an exponentially amazing, extravagant woman who is powerful, strong, loving, caring, healing, healing, creative. Okay, she no longer sees herself as just her. She no longer feels like she needs something outside of her to validate her. She already knows that she is it. 
and not only that not just in like a narcissistic way like oh i'm this i'm that because i did this and because i did that and i got these rings and i got this car and i got this house and i got this selfie light and i got all of this stuff like no that's not it it is now being able to sink yourself in with your entire existence so you know what that means that means that you are not just you You are everything around you. Your success is crucial to everything and everyone else's success. If the earth was sick and dying and everything, all the plants were plagued and all of the trees were, I mean, pretty much obliterated and there was no oxygen because all the trees was pretty much obliterated and, you know, the ocean just couldn't even be still no more because it was just cracks keep cracking in the earth because the earth just wasn't stable anymore what do you think would happen to everything living on it yeah they would pretty much all, all go extinct i'm assuming you know there's always an exception to the rule somewhere maybe somebody will get some type of hideout cave or whatever but what i'm my point is when we now see ourselves as in as the earth in in that sense as the earth in sync and responsible for the, all life here all living things here everything living and breathing has to do with our state of mind emotionally physically spiritually we can now do so many great things so many great things and we can relinquish ourselves from this tie that we have to feeling subjugated to our men and feeling like we're obligated to this person but even though we're obligated we still can't trust them we still can't all the way be free with them and i'm not saying this is for everyone and everything but what i am saying is numbers don't lie and statistics have proven that right now women are not i wouldn't say safe i wouldn't say what's the perfect word i mean if rates of abuse physical abuse Okay, murder by spouse, maternal mortality. If all of these rates are going up, if they're not high, they're rising at this point in time, then what's that to say about what's going on right now in our mental state, in our emotional state? Okay, it's a lot of Cardi B's and, um, you know, women running around and I'm not bashing them. You know, they're going to do what they're going to do. That's who they are. That's their path. However, you've got to be able to pave your own and not just do so in in vain, okay? Do so in a way that is literally healing everything and everyone around you because right now there's a lot of women who can't even get their voice out. They can't even speak. You know, they can't even understand their life and what everything that's happening around them because of the state of everything else and so that's not to say that there's something wrong with the world and it's not to say that there's something wrong with you that's to say that this is a great and amazing opportunity for so many women to now get up on their game and do what they came here to do which is lead Number one, lead, because a lot of people think that men are supposed to be leading us. And I think in this day and age with, you know, mass incarceration and, you know, a a relationship abuse and just all this stuff and cheating, all this stuff going on. To me, it just doesn't make sense. And we're going wrong somewhere. So leading, okay, is something we're going to have to get comfortable with. And we're going to have to start with leading ourselves and trusting ourselves, our divine feminine energy 
so that we can intertwine it with the masculine and be able to lead, be able to pave the way, okay, and grow and raise strong women, strong, 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 strong young women, okay? We got to get comfortable with this stuff. We got to get comfortable with healing. We got to get comfortable with seeing things and being like, okay, this is this is the truth. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I've said it before. I see so, like, I see so much on the internet. And I wouldn't say real life, not really in real life. But on the internet, you know, I see things like, that I feel like people should be taking action on. And when it comes to your mental well-being, when it comes to who you are and your thoughts and your emotions, just because they don't make sense to you right now, sis, don't mean they ain't never gonna make sense. Just because they don't make sense to you right now, doesn't mean it has to make sense. Trust your gut. Trust your heart. Trust your spirit. I have to check on my baby. She's sleeping in the room. Trust your heart. Trust your spirit. Trust your gut. That is life. That is everything. Trust it. And if you one of them women who are out there putting a man before the world, because I just, like I just said, now is the time for us to start seeing ourselves as completely in sync and intertwined with the earth and everything that goes on here. Okay? Just like we birth, the earth births. So we need to really be in tune with this process spiritually, mentally, in every sense, etherically, in every sense. It is essential. It is so essential. Test the sun and all my heart.